All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the best and worst specialties of 2022. And we know things have changed in the past couple of years. I did a specialties video back in like 2018. Well, I can guarantee you since COVID, those best specialties have, have definitely changed a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go over some stats in here with you guys today. Uh, some of the things that really, really stand out because back in the day, well, I say back in the day, a few years ago, you could come into nursing, you know, this is pre-COVID, um, and, you know, people were always stressed in nursing, you know, people were always stressed in our business and in healthcare in general, but there was still a somewhat good view of, say, you want to be an ICU nurse or you wanted to be an ER nurse. Well, when I show you these numbers, that has obviously flipped, and, um, and I want to talk about that a little bit today, you know, talking about what is considered the best nursing specialties now, what is the worst. Um, even though now I'm a nurse entrepreneur, you know, things have definitely changed uh, in nursing in the past two years, uh, really dealing with COVID, obviously, but the overwork, the underappreciation, we can get into all that, you know, we've talked about it on here before, but, you know, it's just, it's just been truly a game changer for how people view nursing, how nurses view nursing, and I'm going to talk about some of these numbers right now. Uh, number one, one of the, the the biggest things that stood out to me was this stat right here. And this is all from nurses.org. They did a survey and it said that only 9% of nurses are happy in their current roles. Now, I want you guys to think about that. Only 9%. So if only 9% of nurses are happy in their current roles, what does that mean for nursing as a whole? You know, the other the other stat that came out here was that 90% of nurses are burnt out on that survey. So you can see the correlation there between the two, the 90% nurses feel burnout and only 9% of nurses feel happy in their current roles. Um, and that makes plenty perfect sense to me. I mean, especially how nurses have been treated over the past couple of years. You know, I talked about, it, I laugh about it all the time. I was like, remember when COVID first hit and they came out with the, uh, the heroes pay. <laughs> and then all of a sudden a year later, they want to cap nursing pay. So I, you know, Hey, you know, it's funny how that, that switches and they want to cap nursing pay in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Go to hell with that. Um, anyways, so those were the two main numbers in this, in this particular, uh, study that, that really stood out to me. Um, but also some other things that stood out, what are considered the best nursing specialties now? Well, as far as a satisfaction standpoint, these are the specialties that came out with the highest satisfaction. That was, well, this one surprised me because I was a nurse educator at one time, but nurse educators, home health, nurse managers, obviously, OR nurses, and pediatric nurses. Those were the best uh, results as far as were people really happy in their roles? Um, were they happy in their environment? Those were the best. Now, obviously, what do you guys think is going to be the worst? Well, it's going to be the ones in the clinical setting, really dealing with patients. And these are emergency room nurse, only 2%. Only 2% said they were happy being an emergency room nurse. As a former ER nurse, I completely understand that one. The other one was med surge, PCU, labor and delivery, and uh, telemetry. Now, that makes sense to me because especially PCU and med surge, because if you're a PCU nurse and say you typically have four in, in pre-COVID days, you would have four, four patients, right? One to four ratio. Well, then that basically just became the overflow unit. So that makes sense to me. Um, <clears throat> PCU, med surge, all that. Yeah, that, that, that makes perfect sense. So those are the lowest scores. And so how does someone coming into nursing or even someone that's been in nursing, where do you go from here looking at these numbers, thinking about these numbers? How is that going to change your view on nursing? Has your view on nursing already changed? And what, uh, what are you going to do? Do you plan on, if you're a clinical nurse, do you plan on staying at the bedside? Um, are you a nursing student and you, had nursing education or nursing uh, or emergency room nurse it was your goal. I mean, I want you to think about that because if if only two percent of emergency room nurses are happy, that that stat is just blows my mind. I mean, that tells you everything you need to know right there. Um, because, like I said, I've done nursing specialties videos in the past, and it, it's just so much has changed in the past two years. It really has in nursing. Uh, healthcare, healthcare in general, you know, back then, you know, let's just say 2017, 2018, you know, nursing, um, you, you could enjoy your job a little bit. Yeah, it was stressful. You know, ner ER nurse, being an ER nurse was always stressful. Uh, but, you know, there was still a different, what am I trying to say, a different attitude towards nursing as a whole. You know, people wanted to be a nurse. 
now, you know, I wonder, I wonder if, if that's changed. I wonder if the, the people wanting to come into medicine after COVID, are there still people motivated to get into that? You know, I think, I mean, obviously there will always be some, but I do wonder how that's going to change uh, looking at these numbers here because they're going to see this. I mean, you know, people see this stuff all the time, but they can also see it. Real patients are seeing this stuff. I mean, patient care is going to suffer from this. Uh, nursing job satisfaction is obviously going to uh, suffer from this. But, you know, I just wanted to bring this to you guys and, and bring it to your attention so you can understand and, and, and hopefully make a decision. You know, will this, will this info really kind of sway you into a different direction. Me personally, I'll never go back to bedside if I can help it. As long as I can continue being my and nurse entrepreneur, being successful in my own nursing business, doing that, I'm going to stay here as long as I can. And I don't ever plan on going back to bedside if I can help it. That's me personally. Now, if you're a new nurse, you obviously are going to have a different attitude about it. And you should, you know, new nurses really need to get that clinical time as much as it sucks you really need to get that that hands-on patient care. There's nothing better than than getting one-on-one -on -one with the patient, you know, doing the kind of stuff that you need to do to learn nursing. But at some point, you know, say you get two, three, five years into your career, at some point you're going to want a little bit something more. You're going to want to further your education. You're going to want to either go into management or go into nurse educator or become a nurse entrepreneur. And be and and people ask me all the time, well, can I be a nurse entrepreneur straight out of school? Sure, you can, if you really believe that you have the skills to do that, it, and not only the skills in nursing, but the business skills as well, because that's another aspect of nurse entrepreneurship is the business side of things. Um, so, you know, you got to think about that, but I truly believe that you need to put at least two to three years into nursing, bedside nursing, before you kind of break out and start and start doing other stuff. That's just me personally. But, I, you know, the big question is to you guys, what do you think? After look, looking at these numbers, has your, has your idea or your view towards nursing changed? And is it going to affect your future jobs? Uh, do you plan on staying in medicine? Do you want to get out of medicine? Those are all the questions you have to ask. And I, you know, I'd like to know what you guys think. But, um, but other than that, that's the latest studies that I've seen. That article was from uh, Jan no, February of 2022 at nurses.org. All right, guys, talk to you later. Peace out.